things really popped off on Sunday's 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 days when Meisha confronted Nicola about his refusal to reveal their seven-year relationship to his family. 90 Day Fiancé Before the 90 Days stars Meisha and Nicola finally got together in Israel after seven years. But it's not exactly the reunion they were hoping for. The couple's first night together seemed to be getting off to a good start, with both Meisha, 43, and Nicola, 46, sharing that there was kissing and hugging, of course. However, the two were saving sex for marriage, and they made sure they didn't cross that line. Nothing happened last night that we couldn't say God would be proud of, but there was definitely some heavy petting going on because I did hop over to Nico's bed to cuddle up a little bit, Meisha said. I think that's all just normal and cute and fun, but nothing that God would be mad at. Nicola, who didn't know what heavy petting meant, explained that getting to be with Meisha in person for the first time was awesome. I feel love toward Meisha and it's been like 16 years to be without a girl, Nicola said in a confessional. It was, like, so sensational to kiss Meisha and hug her, and I just love it. Although Meisha had been married and divorced before, and is a mother, she revealed that since she converted to Judaism, she is celibate in a relationship for the first time and it feels weird. She wanted to figure out how to feel more connected to Nicola, asking how to close that gap between them. How can we even be more affectionate? She asked him, like, hot and cute, you know what I mean. Nicola told her to give it time and joked that she wants her hand to be glued to his. He told her he will improve and their relationship will get better with time. After the pair headed out to explore Nazareth, Nicola got excited to show Mesha the Holy Land. In the beginning of our relationship, when we start to talk about Jesus, this is where the connection started between me and her, Nicola explained. So I hope that showing all these holy sites to Mesha that will also make our relationship also stronger. The fun came to a halt when Mesha asked when she would meet Nicola's mother and brothers, noting that was of utmost importance to her. I don't know why you are dreaming to meet my mom. It's like you're going to get married with my mom. Nicola snapped back at her before revealing that only his youngest brother knew about the relationship, but the other was unaware Mesha exists. In a confessional, Mesha confessed, it makes me think, like, maybe the reason he's been hiding me is maybe because he's ashamed of my past. Nicola continued to grow impatient with Mesha, saying, show me in the Bible where it says go tell your brother that you need to tell him, I am getting married. Despite Mesha stressing how important this was to her, Nicola said his family was not so important for our relationship and shut down the conversation altogether. Later in the episode, Mesha admitted that there were some parts of the day that I didn't love so much. She added, I'm here for one reason and one reason only, to meet you and get answers about what we've invested in our lives now for almost seven years. When Mesha confronted Nicola with concerns that he may be embarrassed of her for not being a virgin or having been divorced, he got upset. Oh my God, Mesha, why do you say this word? He asked. Get out from your lexicon. Embarrassed. Embarrassed for what? All this love between us, I would be embarrassed from you, Mesha. Nicola called Mesha's concerns drama and told her to go to sleep because she was speaking nonsense. The problem with you, Mesha, is that you never want to be done with any conversation, Nicola blurted out. When you start to talk, you never stop. You are the most cute when you are mute, I'll be honest with you. 